I only have 20%, so. Yeah, hi, can I, can I help you? Yeah, I, I just was intrigued by this, this propeller. It's a very unusual piece. Well, essentially, um, the first benefit of the autoprop is that it, it feathers away while you sail, much like the flag on the wind. So this is for sailing, not for power. Well, um, I'll come to that. Um, ostensibly, it was first designed for a sailing boat because generally you've got quite low power um, and you need good efficiency from, from the propeller. So the first thing that it does is it feathers away, much like any other feather in the folded prop. But the difference with the autoprop is that it actually varies its pitch angle. Right. So that angle changes with the speed of the boat, speed of the vessel through the water, and the centrifugal force, which is the sharp RPM spinning the blade around. It balances the forces acting. So there's no actual mechanical connection? No. It's basically just on a bearing. So the clever part of this propeller is it's all in the geometry of the plane. And that geometry effectively is balancing the forces that try to Right. Much like a variable pitch propeller on an aircraft, but without controls. Right, right. So obviously you've got moving parts here, so mm. what about maintenance? Is that a nightmare? Not really, no. So the um, it's a greased bearing and you've got two points where you can grease the propeller. Um, so you've got a seal in the blade and then you have a taper roller bearing and a thrust race. And those two bearings effectively operate the blade, make sure that it's free to turn all the time. So you do need to grease it, and it's, we recommend doing it when you lift the boat out of the water. Right. Once a year, preferably. Yeah. And of course, you need to replace the anode as well. Yeah. yeah. Do they get through anodes? Um, it, it, that's, a, that's a sort of bit of a sort of. Um, it's not a fixed science exactly. But, but, but that anode is there to protect the propeller. It's got to do a bit more than that, than, than it might go fast. So if you haven't got anything in the shaft, for instance, yeah, yeah. or a hull anode that's linked up to the shaft, then that'll make that anode work harder. Does best have some additional help? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. No, it looks really good. And what about price? Uh, generally, um, they're just a bit more than a conventional folding propeller. You know, if you look at just a, a normal propeller, so it's a normal propeller blade shape. And it's uh, you know that will be like a fixed propeller and fold and sailing, but but this is a bit more advanced. So the, the benefits that you're going to get from this uh, much better fuel consumption because the pitch is always finding right, the correct yeah, angle yeah. of the tank. Yeah. Um, and also when you're motor sailing, it senses the load for the driving force in the sails. Uh, it can take a course of pitch, right. which effectively means that you can run the engine much slower, still achieve good speeds. And the other advantage with the autoprop unlike any other folding prop, is um, the leading edge leads in reverse. So you've got exactly oh, the same yeah, propeller yeah, yeah. in reverse as you have in the head. Yeah, so it's so really powerful. Yeah, yeah. It's, there are a lot more advantages with it. Um, it, it, it. It'll improve sailing, motoring, motor sailing and manoeuvrability. Great. And are they all three blades? All three. Uh, we do make a two blade for some of the small boats, right. but uh, generally, yeah, two or three. And just for shafts? Sail drives as well. Oh, sail drive. yeah. Oh, right. yeah, we've got a sail drive version which uses a rubber insert just to act as a sort of torsional damper. Um, so they literally slide straight on a spline and lock on with a conventional nut. Well, that's great. No, that's, that's, that useful. that's really helpful. Thanks yeah, very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot.